Hi, my name is Scott. This is actually a multi-purpose saw with the variable blades, but when I bought it from Amazon, it came only with the steel blade itself. But in this video, we're going to describe what came with it, and on order is the extra multi-purpose blades for for this, and as well as you've seen earlier, this thing came in with this big old box. This saw, goggles. This actually is a cap that goes where the breather. You can put a uh, vacuum cleaner to it, shop back. Got an Allen wrench and a pair of bushings and a guide. The two scrum screws on the back, you unscrew off. You got one on one side and you got one on the other. Right here is the brake for the blade. Counterclockwise, it does state right-handed screw, so lefty loosey, tidy righty. It's simple. Put it back in. Turn it back up, you do the same opposite thing. Case back together. And by the way, this Pacific also has an overload switch breaker and how the guide actually goes in it says up angled it slides into two little crevice areas it has these two little screws on the opposite side that slide through and the shop back goes right here in that little socket some people turn around and give me work didn't even know what that meant but this is what it's for. Now we're going to go ahead, cut a one and a half inch PVC pipe with it, with the multi blades already put on. So let's get it going. <laughs> Which well, that's not bad at all, as you can tell, it's cleaner. All right. I do have the same same equipment we had last time, the aluminum pipe. We do have a clean cut on it. And believe it or not, same results we have from the other side. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I mean, you're gonna if you wanna clean it up, that's fine. Depends on what you're actually using the copper for. Everybody says this thing's supposed to cut boards with screws and nails through it, so we put that to the test as well. But as you can tell, it did cut them straight off. What I did not demonstrate on the miter saw and the same blade we're about to do, we're going to take this piece, quarter inch steel plate, single straight iron, we're gonna cut it. Now I did it with a miter saw and we cut the weld on it just to prove a point. Did well. Pull this in here since so y'all watch it. Little no spark came out of that. Still clean cut. That wasn't too bad. For a multi-purpose blade at 3900 3, RPMs for 20 teeth. If I'm not mistaken, that's what I read on it. I'm gonna make this last for a very long time. The blades will be changed out, but if we take care of the motor, take care of the bushings, take care of the equipment, be great for you. This is a good piece of equipment for what I'm going to be doing around my home, what I do on my little job sites I have off work. I mean, it's going to do me wonders. Um, thanks again.